On the way from the Bahamas to Puerto Rico, our freezer went out. Now the freezer and refrigerator are about the same age, so we figured we'd go ahead and replace both of them while I was already digging into the freezer. But the freezer was the first priority. So to replace that, we ordered a couple systems from Seafrost. We got a two cold plate freezer system and a single cold plate refrigerator system. So we're going to unbox those now and see what we actually get. So as you can see, when they're shipped, they are mounted to pieces of plywood to help make the shipping a little bit more sturdy. So we'll check this out here. So these must be the remote control thermosets. A couple things of putty to so that you can wrap around the copper tubing as it comes in and out of the box. Some mounting hardware and these must be the two compressors. get some extra insulated tubing as well. For the Seafrost systems, the compressors are actually the same, so I have two of these Seafrost BD systems. Uh, one runs the refrigerator single plate and one runs their freezer dual plate. I also opted for the water to help uh, cool, the com cool the refrigerant. So we have an inlet and an outlet here for the water, which I'll hook up later. I also have 3 8 water hose that I have to replace because the old system was water as well so I have to pull all that out and replace all that hose because it's 15 years old and doesn't look very good. So one of the first things you want to do when you're pulling out your old refrigerant system is to remove everything but in the box you need to epoxy all the previous screw holes otherwise moisture can get in there and destroy the foam insulation because so once your foam insulation gets wet from condensation that happens in the refrigerator box uh, your foam insulation is almost useless. So what I did is I went in and I epoxied some of the screw holes. Our compressor is located in the floor of the cockpit on the Antares. And you can see in here we have two compressors. This one over here is the fridge and the one behind it is the freezer. I've already had the refrigerant removed from the lines. I have the power wires disconnected. So now I just have to actually pull the unit, clean it up a little bit, and then reinstall the freezer. And there we have our old compressor. Okay, so one of the things I found is that one of these screws holding the old compressor in, the head snapped off. Uh, which happens kind of frequently. That's why I kind of take the extra precautions around most of the boat things for the marine environment. If you are tearing something apart, like taking out a compressor, go ahead and replace the hose clamps. Go ahead and replace some of the wire uh, terminations if they look bad, or even the screws. I mean, it takes an extra 10 minutes, which is frustrating while you're doing it, but it might save you an hour underway at sea trying to do the same thing. So I'll show you that right now. I got it cleaned up a little bit too, so it doesn't look horrible anymore. But as you can see, I got a little termination there where the head snapped off. So I'm gonna replace that. And then now that it's a little cleaned up, you can kind of see some of these hose. They don't look bad. They're still actually kind of pliable. But again, since I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and replace those. Why not? I'm already got the compressor out of the way. All I gotta do is pull the hose and replace the hose. Right now I'm replacing the hose and the way hoses and basically all wiring and stuff runs through boats, it's kind of tight. Uh, they run it through different things. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to take, I'm gonna take the new end of my hose and use electrical tape. Um, the hole is not too tight. If it was, I could use thread and basically stitch the hose to the old hose along with some tape to make sure that it holds. But I think just the electrical tape will get me through it today. Down here in the port aft bilge of the Antares is where the pumps are for the fridge and freezer. So you can see here we got a pump for each and then behind it runs the hosing. So you can see where it goes into the hole right there to the bulkhead. And then that runs up to the cockpit area. 
So we're gonna replace that. We're gonna tape our new hose onto the end of that hose and try to pull it through. We're back inside. I'm getting ready to install the freezer plates. These install by a neoprene blind fastener system. So you have the neoprene fastener, you have a washer, and then you have a machine screw. Uh, when you get done, it's going to look just like this. You can see I already have one kind of put together here just to show you guys. Inside, I have the first hole marked right there. So I've already drilled that. You use a 3 16 and then drill to make a pilot hole and then bring it up to 3 8 I have already marked the next holes on the wall. So I'm going to go ahead and drill those next. Now that we have our three holes drill it out we're going to go ahead and insert our neoprene fasteners these just get inserted into the hole that you drilled out Right now I'm just leaving it loose until all of the screws are at least in and fitted and then I'll tighten it up and then that neoprene fitting will crush, um, just making sure that no water or moisture gets into your foam insulation. When you get the Seafrost freezer system there are two plates and they are basically run in series like you would run batteries in a series. So you have a return line and a feed line, liquid line. So you have to hook these up. The way they give you to this is one plate has the liquid line and then the other one is going to have the return. I already have the other one run and they give you the leads for the two lines. Then they also give you a string of line which you have to connect yourself. This line here also has to connect to the line that is down in the freezer already on the bottom which is kind of fun when you have to get your body down in a four foot deep freezer to connect the line that's always a good time i wonder if i could pull those out and now nah, that's too much hassle i already got it in so maybe for you maybe connect them both up and then drop them in and then screw them down that would probably be the best option but since I realized that a little bit too late, I at least realized it in time to run this line. So I'm going to connect this line, push it through our exit hole in the bottom of the freezer. That way this one will already be connected. I don't have to fiddle with that at the bottom of the freezer. And then I'll just have to connect these two lines at the bottom of the freezer. So let's get started on that fun time. We have both plates installed now. The next step is going to be to install the remote thermostat. As you can see, I have some of the old previous screw holes epoxied in here. And I'm going to use this one for one screw hole, and then I'm going to have to screw and seal another hole for the switch. Uh, the, we have one plate on the forward and one plate on the aft. So this is a simple switch. You just got a positive and a negative, which I'll have to hook up here in a second. And then you have the coil, which actually senses the temperature. And we will install the coil alongside here so that it senses the temperature of the plate. And then we will mount the thermostat right about there using the old epoxy for one screw hole. And then I'll have to put another one in. All right, as you can see, I have the thermostat installed and sealed. We have plates on either side. Our connections at the bottom are connected. Now I just have to seal the hole at the bottom and wire up the condenser. Now we have the thermostat installed. We have removed the protective film from both plates. I have my lines covered, electrical wiring done, and the hole at the bottom is sealed. Bright, you're gonna be on the star.
sky that blankets me First she stared and we laughed out loud I lost sight of my course Took a bump to my head I'm setting sail on the west coast shoreline The Wright brothers took a chance Till I had mine My guitar in a glorious sunrise I'll be back at a full moon tide time Okay Looks like we got everything together. Let's see if it actually works. We now have our Seafrost freezer and refrigerator systems installed aboard Unwritten Timeline. If you enjoyed this video, remember to hit the thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss future episodes. And we'll see you guys next time. Ignore the clock and the things that can find me.